Hello everyone and welcome to Black Star Potential. My name is Lee Fuge and I'm here with mgrmusic.com and today we're going to be taking a look at the Studio 10 6L6 and seeing how this amp reacts differently with different guitars. The Studio 10 is a 10 watt single ended Class A valve amplifier. The one that you see beside me here has a single 6L6 valve in it. So this is great for those big American clean tones. The top panel of the amp is very simple. We've got a gain knob, a tone knob, a reverb and a master volume with a drive on and off switch. With so few options available on the top panel, you might easily think that this amp may be quite limited in what it can do, but this is where the amp is incredibly surprising. Just by a few simple twists of the knobs on the top of the amp and some interesting guitar changes, we can take this amp through a whole bunch of different tones. So let's explore a few of those right now. We're gonna start off with a Strat style guitar on the clean channel. We're gonna start off by dialing in a really cool funk style tone. So let's move over to the top panel of the amp. We can see that we've got the drive switch is out, so we're on the clean channel. The gain, the tone, and the reverb are all up more or less at midnight, so straight up at 12 o'clock. And I'm recording this at quite a low volume, so the master volume is just below two. This tone sounds great on the neck pickup of a Strat. Or we can flip that to position two, which is the bridge and the middle pickup of the Strat on at the same time. If I push the gain up to about three quarters of the way, I back off the master volume just a tiny bit, back off the reverb a little bit too, I'm gonna get a really cool Texas blues style, clean-ish breakup tone. If I now flip over to the overdrive channel, I can get a really cool blues tone. So we've got the overdrive channel enabled, the gain set to just below 12 o'clock, the tone set to just above 12 o'clock, and I've backed off the reverb a little bit too. This is using the neck pickup of a Strat. If I want to dig a little more into that 70s Eric Clapton style screaming tweed amp tone, here's what I can do. Set the gain to just below 3 o'clock so you get a nice full overdriven sound. I've got the tone just below 12 o'clock on this because my Strat has quite bright pickups but you can adjust this to taste and I've got quite a bit of reverb here so I'm just under halfway. <laughs> Now I've flipped over to a Telecaster style guitar. If we want to dial in a cool stonesy kind of rhythm tone, here's what we can do. So I've pushed the gain a little bit now, so it's just above halfway, and the tone is pushed to about one o'clock. I've kept the reverb about the same as the last setting as well. So here's how this sort of tone would sound. <laughs> If we push the gain of the Studio 10 all the way up, coupled with the Tele's neck pickup, we can get a really cool early 90s Rage Against the Machine style overdrive tone. So I've got the gain maxed out, the tone is on about three o'clock, and the reverb is kept to just below 12 o'clock. Here's how this sounds. <laughs> Clean channel on the Studio 10 6L6 also works great with a humbucker star guitar like a Les Paul. Here's the settings for a nice chimey clean tone using humbuckers. We've got the gain 
on 12 o'clock on the clean channel, the tone just below three o'clock, the reverb just below 12, and the master volume is still on about one. This is a great classic rock style chimey clean tone. That tone was played on the neck pickup, but if I flip to the middle pickup, it's very responsive to the pickup change. If I now push the gain all the way to the max on the clean channel, but I leave everything else the same, I get a really cool overdriven blues tone. This is a clean tone, but there's a hint of overdrive right at the top end. This is great for those low gain BB King or Albert King style blues licks. With a humbucker guitar, we can get a really cool American low gain drive sound, sort of like the Eagles. If we set the gain to about nine o'clock, the tone to just around midnight, this depends on how dark or bright your pickups are and the reverb you can set to taste, but keep that gain nice and low and we'll be straight into that early 70s Eagle style American breakup. <laughs> If we go to the other end of that spectrum, we push the gain all the way up to 10 on the drive channel, keep the tone once again to taste, so I'm just gonna leave that at halfway. So full gain, tone at 12 o'clock, reverb to taste, we're gonna get a great classic rock tone. <laughs> There you go, there's a bunch of tones straight out of the amp just by making a few simple adjustments to the dials and changing the type of guitar we use. As you can see, the Studio 10 606 is incredibly versatile and we can dial in a lot of tones. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out Blackstar on YouTube for more free videos just like this. If you're looking for a guitar teacher in your local area, don't forget to check out mjrmusic.com. We've got a network of great teachers all over the country just waiting to help you hit your full potential. Thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you guys soon.